Open AI is one of the main leaders in the field of generative AI with its ChatGPT being one of the most popular and widely used examples. ChatGPT is powered by OpenAI's GPT family of large language models. LLMs. In August and September 2024, there were rumors about a new model from OpenAI, codenamed Strawberry. At first, it was unclear if it was the next version of GPT-40 or something different. On September 12, OpenAI officially introduced the O1 model. Hi, I am Mayank. In this video, we will discuss about OpenAI model O1 and its types. After this, we will perform some basic prompts using OpenAI Preview and OpenAI Mini. And at the end, we will see comparison between the OpenAI O1 models and GPT-40. So without any further ado, let's get started. What is OpenAI O1? The OpenAI O1 family is a group of LLMs that have been improved to handle more complex reasoning. These models are designed to offer a different experience from GPT-40, focusing on thinking through problems more thoroughly before responding. Unlike older models, O1 is built to solve challenging problems that require multiple steps and deep reasoning. OpenAI O1 models also use a technique called chain of thought prompting, which allows the model to think through problem step by step. OpenAI O1 consists of two models, O1 Preview and O1 Mini. The O1 Preview model is meant for more complex tasks, while the O1 Mini is a smaller, more affordable version. So what can OpenAI O1 do? OpenAI O1 can handle many tasks, just like other GPT models from OpenAI, such as answering questions, summarizing content, and creating new material. However, O1 is especially good at more complex tasks, including the first one is enhanced reasoning. The O1 models are designed for advanced problem solving, particularly in subjects like science, technology, engineering, and math. The second one is brainstorming and ideation. With its improved reasoning, O1 is great at coming up with creative ideas and solutions in various fields. The number third is scientific research. O1 is perfect for tasks like annoting cell sequencing data or solving complex math needed in areas like quantum optics. The number fourth is coding. The O1 models can write and fix code, performing well on coding tests like human eval and code forces and helping developers build multi-step workflows. The fifth one, mathematics. O1 is much better at math than previous model, scoring 83% in the International Mathematics Olympiad test compared to GPT-40's 13%. It also did well in other math competition like AIME, making it useful for generating complex formulas for physics. And the last one is cell fact checking. O1 can check the accuracy of its own responses, helping to improve the reliability of its answer. You can use OpenAI O1 models in several ways. ChatGPT Plus and team users have access to O1 Preview and O1 Mini models and can manually choose them in the model picker. Although free users don't have access to the O1 models yet, OpenAI is planning to offer O1 Mini to them in the future. Developers can also use these models, OpenAI's API, and they are available on third-party platforms like Microsoft Azure AI Studio and GitHub models. So before jumping to the demo part, here is a quick info for you. Dive into the future of AI with the generative AI and machine learning course in collaboration with ENICT Academy IIT Guwahati. Learn tools like ChatGPT, OpenAI, Hugging Face, Python, and more. Join masterclass led by IIT G faculty, engage in hands-on project, and earn executive alumni status. So this generative AI and machine learning course enriches your career journey with comprehensive coverage of machine learning, deep learning, NLP, generative AI, reinforcement learning, computer vision, and many more. So find the course link from the description box below and the pin comment. So yes guys, I have opened this uh, ChatGPT 4.0 model here and ChatGPT 01 preview as you can see. So I have this plus model, okay, the paid version of ChatGPT. So I can access this 01 preview and 01 mini, mini model, okay. We will go with 01 preview model and we will put same prompts in both the a model of the ChatGPT 4.0 and the O1 preview and see what are the differences are coming. Okay, so we will do some math questions and we will do some coding. We will do some advanced reasoning and quantum physics as well. Okay, so let's start with. So I have some prompt already written with me. So first one is number theory. Okay, so what I will do, I will copy it from here and paste it in this and both okay so let me run in photo and over preview so here you can see 
it's thinking okay so this is what i was saying chain of thoughts okay so these are the chain of thoughts first is breaking down the prime this is and then is identifying the gcd and now see the difference between the output see output is 561 is not a prime number and the gcd greatest common receiver of 48 and 180 is 12 okay here see chat gpt own preview is giving the output in step by step First, see, determine if 561 is a prime number or not. The number 561 is not a prime number. It is a composite number because it has this, this, this. Okay. Then second step. Then the greatest common divisor. And then they found 12. And answer is no, 561 is not a composite number because of this. And the greatest common divisor of 48 and 180 is 12. See, just see the difference between the two models. This is why... Chat GPT O1 models are crazy for math, coding, and advanced reasoning, quantum physics for these things. Okay, so let's go with our second step. So here, if you will see, you can see the attach file option in Chat GPT 4.0. Okay, you can come upload from your computer, but here you we will see in O1 there is no attach file option. This is one drawback. Okay, so here upload from computer. So this is one small. Okay, and let me open this. And this is the question I have. Okay, yeah. So I will copy this. I will run this and this. Okay, see it's start giving the answer and Owen is still thinking, solving the equation. Then solving, analyzing the relationship. Okay, so chat GPT O1 will take time, but it will give you more accurate, more step by step as you want. Okay, so here you can see solve for x in question. This is this, and here the steps you can see. Okay, this is more structured way you can see in a good structured way. Okay, chat GPT O1 preview gave you in good structure way as O1 mini as well. Okay, so yeah, so here they wrote just one and two, this is this, this, and here if you'll see question one, solve for x in this, and step one is this, step two is this, and step three is this, then the answer of x is equal to three. But here simply they wrote we know this is this, this, and x is equal to three. For the second question, see expanding the left hand side, this is this, but here step one square both sides of the given equation. Start by squaring both sides, okay. It's written but not in good way. Okay, so this is why O1 is better for math. Okay, so now let's check it for the coding part. Okay, so I have one question. Okay, let me see what output it will give. First, I will write I need. Okay, leave it. I will copy it and I will copy it as well here. Run it and run it. See, it's start giving answer. Okay, and still this will adjust the parameters, ensuring the code generation. Because ChatGPT O1 will think first, then it will analyze. Then after that, it will give you answers. Okay. Here the code is done. See, here the code is done and it's still thinking. Step one. And first here, you can't see anything. See, step setup development environment, PIP install numpy matplotlib, then this, then this. And here, nothing. And, but I will ask it. Okay. Give me code in one tab. Okay. Here also will like, give me code in in single tab. Okay, so I can just copy and paste. So what I will do, I will open one online compiler and I will directly Copy it and paste. Okay. So let 
Let's finish this. I hope it will work. So let me open W3Schools compiler. Okay. Yeah. Same I will open for this W3School. Okay, so let me copy the code and my bad and paste it here. Same for works for this. Okay. The, okay. I will copy the code and I will paste it here. Okay. I hope okay it gives something. Yeah, cool. So yes, now you can see the difference between the output. So this is the output of 40 and this is the output of O1 preview. See, O1 preview output is this and this is the output output of 40. So this is the difference. This is why O1 takes time, but it will give you more accurate result in a good way. Okay. So now let's check something else so moving on let's see some advanced reasoning question okay so this is the logical puzzle one the first one okay so i will copy it and i will paste it here okay this is for o1 this is for preview because why i'm not comparing o1 with mini because they both are same but slightly differences there okay so here you, we can see more difference between 4 old model versus new model you can say okay so now see the answer is end in this much only but it will explain you in a better way see thoughts for seven seconds explanation that case one then case two okay can with conclusion in both scenarios summary and this here, this one, small explanation, and that's it, right? So, they created O1 preview for more, you know, it will describe you more in a better way, right? Now, let's see some scientific reasoning as well, okay? So, let me copy it here. So, still thinking. But to start giving answer. See, thought for 16 seconds. So again, I will say that you know, ChatGPT O1 is much better than ChatGPT 4. ChatGPT 4 is great for you know content writing and all, but ChatGPT O1 preview and mini are very good for reasoning, math, coding, or quantum physics, these type of things. Okay, advanced reasoning. Okay, ChatGPT 4 is great for you know generative text. Okay, like for marketing, writing copies, emails, and all of those. So now let's see some comparison between O1 models and GPT 4 model. When new models are released, their capabilities are revealed through benchmark data in the technical reports. The new OpenAI model excels in complex reasoning tasks. It surpasses human PhD level accuracy in physics, chemistry, biology on the GPQA benchmark. Coding becomes easier with O1 as it ranks in the 89th percentile of the competitive programming questions code force. The model is also outstanding in math. On a qualifying exam for International Mathematics Olympiad IMO, GPT-40 solved only 13% of problems, while O1 achieved 83%. This is truly next level. On the standard ML benchmarks, it has huge improvements across the board. MMLU means multitask accuracy and GPQA is reasoning capabilities. Human evaluation. OpenAI asked people to compare O1 Mini with GPT-40 on difficult open-ended tasks across different topics. Using the same method as the O1 preview versus GPT-40 comparison, like O1 preview, O1 Mini was preferred over GPT-40 for tasks that require strong reasoning skills but GPT-40 was still favored for language-based tasks. Model speed. As a concrete example, we compared responses from GPT-40, O1 Mini, and O1 Preview on the word reasoning question, while GPT-40 did not answer correctly. 
both O1 mini and O1 preview did an O1 mini reach the answer around 3 to 5x faster. Limitation and what's next? Due to its specialization on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, reasoning capabilities, O1 Mini's factual knowledge on non-STEM topics such as dates, biographics, and trivia is comparable to small LMs such as GPT-40 Mini. OpenAI will improve these limitations in future versions, as well as experiment the extending the model to other modalities and specialties outside of the STEM. With this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any question or doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section below and our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.